This is my baby. And for the next 36 hours, I'm a single dad. Is that a kitchen towel you're using? Yes, I am sorry. Ah! And here are the rules. I have to do everything my wife does. Cook, clean, fold laundry, do the dishes, feed our baby, grocery shop, and work out. Do everything I do as a dad. Take out the trash, burp baby, change diapers, pay bills, work my job, and edit before my wife arrives home tomorrow at 4 p.m. And the last and most important rule of all, I can't accept help from anybody. So Abby left her ID and she's at the airport. I thought for sure that if you had a picture of your ID, you'd be good. Or they're like, no, you'd be the real thing. We're gonna give mom her ID, okay? This dude is so tired right now. Oh gosh. Oh man, what a start to the morning. I'm so sorry, buddy. Let me get you a burp rack. I'm gonna use this kitchen towel. It's clean. Hey babe, what's up? Oh, he's gonna bring it for you? Yes. Are you on the way? I literally have him in his car seat and I was about to take him to the car. I'm so sorry. Are you gonna, are you gonna divorce me? No. We gotta go. Oh, frick. Everything that could go wrong right now is going wrong. We're low on gas. It's the last door. Four North departures. Okay. I see door 27. That's where you're at? Door 27, yeah. Four North departures. Oh, door 21. This is door 21. Yeah. Door 27. Door 27. Sorry. I thought it said 27, but it was a 21. 23. There you are. Go, 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 go. Love you. Yes, it's in there. Love you. Love you. It's in there. It's in there. So I hate to wake him, but I gotta get him out of the car somehow because he has one more hour of sleep until his first meeting. And that didn't work. He's awake. So I'm bringing Griffin up to his room. Look what I just saw. We're only an hour in. Got our first blowout, you guys. Yay. Oh my Lord, that's a ton of poop. What are you eating, man? Got grip in a new outfit. Okay, you gotta promise me though, if I put this on, it can't spit up in it. Is that okay? There we go. Oh, what? You just pushed out your pinky. Why would you do that? Dude, you're being so. Griffin. It's okay. I know you don't wanna sleep. I know that you're awake. Let's just get you some milk instead, okay? You win. I lose. Let's go clean this out and heat up his breast milk. I need to figure out how to do that. I don't know how to do that really. Okay, so apparently, I read this on the internet. All you do is you take this bag and just throw it in the microwave and heat it up for like 15 minutes and then it's like at a good temperature for the baby. Just kidding. That's not, that was a really stupid joke. If you heated up breast milk in the microwave, it would like, first of all, have uneven patches and it could hurt your baby. And then another thing is it can break down the proteins and, nutri and nutrients. One second, Griffin. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry. Sorry, did you lose your pinky bud? You good? I use some milk. From here on out, we're gonna feed him every three hours until Abby gets back. We can do it, we can do it. Hey, fun little parenting hack for all you parents out there. Burp your kid over the sink. Because when they spit up, it's not gonna go on you or on the floor. You just, this is easy clip, just done. Sprayer, done. So easy. The number one challenge I'm gonna face today is Griffin getting overtired. Overtired is where your baby isn't getting enough sleep. They get really fussy, really angry, to a point where they're so tired that they won't even sleep at all. And if Griffin starts to get too overtired, I'm not gonna be able to get anything done. I won't be able to clean the house. I'll be screwed. It's really important that I keep him on a consistent nap schedule and really important that he's getting the sleep that he needs. Take a nap, okay, buddy? I just set Griffin down for his nap. Are you get Brett Griffin? <laughs> that was the record time ever for putting Griffin down for a nap. I read online somewhere that you wanna put them down while they're like tired but not asleep yet. And his eyes were just about to shut and I set him down, walked away, kept making the shushing sound and he's out. So now, I have time to make myself breakfast. I spoke too soon. I was scrubbing waking up. I definitely did not make this quick enough, so he's getting hungry, so I need to quickly eat and then feed him. Mm, I love food so much. I feel like the bottle is the magic juice for babies, because if they're crying, you give them a bottle, everything's okay. It doesn't always work, but a lot of times it works. Look how happy this guy is right now. Okay, Griff, your mama's gone. It's just you and I. We got each other's backs, okay? You take care of me, I take care of you. Is that cool? I love you so much, little guy. I miss your mama just as much as you do. Oh my gosh! I'm scared. I'm, I can't show that on the vlog. I'm recording you. I'll have to blur out your boobs. Is that a kitchen towel you're using? Yes, I am sorry. Sorry. Please tell me it was at least a clean kitchen towel. Yes. 
It should be. I'm just going through our YouTube analytics right now, looking at some potential video ideas. I guess you guys don't usually see this part of my life. This is what I do, I, I make videos for a living. But Griffin is just staring at me and he's so cute. I love you, buddy. I love you so much. <laughs> He's still asleep. <laughs> I don't know how that doesn't wake you up. Abby typically works out at this time during the day, which means I watch Griffin while she goes to the gym. Only problem is, there's only me today. I need to fill both roles. So I'm going to my friend's mic. I can't talk, I'm so out of breath. And this is really dripping really slow. He has an at-home gym. I'm gonna go work out with him and put Griffin down for a nap inside Mike's house while we work out in his garage. Yeah, I'm already late also too, did I say that? So I need to go ahead and pack. So I've got Griffin's bottle right here, breast milk, very much needed. I've got some diapers as well as, where are the wipes? I need to grab some wipes, one second. Oh, I got a whole thing of wipes right here. I did bring a change of clothes. I thought this Mickey outfit was really cute, but we gotta go, I'm super late. Okay, I'm at my friend Mike's house. And I'm putting Griffin down for a nap. Is that not a genius dad move or what? If he cries, I'll hear it right there. What's up, dude? Let's go, dad Let's workout. Go. How much time do we have? We got about 30 minutes. If he cries, I'll hear him. Are we doing legs today? I made a complete rookie mistake. Griffin cried one little time, and rather than waiting like five seconds to make sure that he was just gonna go back to sleep, I went in and checked on him and put a binky in his mouth because it had fallen out, and that woke him the heck up. I only got like a warm-up set of squats in, and now he's eaten, so hopefully I can fit in the workout right after this. Got a text from Ashley and she said that she walked out of her office to get a drink and it smells like sweaty boys. <laughs> you touched my wife and kids, you're gonna regret it. <laughs> so I convinced Mike to one wheel. We're gonna see what Mike can do. Stand up flat footed, put a little pressure in on your like front foot and you'll just go, it'll just move. Let's go Mike! Woo! This is a new world record, slowest one wheel rider ever. Woo! <laughs> Don't show mom this video. He's about to fall asleep. It's crazy to me how this dude has an internal clock, like on the dot every three hours, he knows it's time to eat. Bro, we just had a massive spit up. It was so bad, it like splattered all over the floor. This is why you do it over the sink. That was like really, really dumb. This is my special dad hack. I should know better. It is time that your dad takes a shower, don't you think? I smell pretty bad. Haven't showered all day. I've been up since 5 a.m. Isn't that crazy? I've been up since 5 a.m., Griffin. And so have you, but Griffin's taking like, how many naps today? Like six naps? Okay, in all seriousness, dads really know what's up because these shoes are really comfy. Like, I know I look like a freaking goon right now, but there's something to these shoes. I'm, I'm legit gonna start wearing these. They're so soft. I feel like I'm walking on clouds. Hey, Caleb. You ready to go to the store and get some groceries with me? I have to go with you. You do. I'll make you dinner. How does that sound? I don't want to be seen with you. If you saw me in the store, would you be like, that is, that's a single father right there. <sighs> Killing the game, dad. Oh, thanks, bro. Just try my best over Just here. a pile of diapers right there. I'm gonna clean tomorrow before Abby gets back. Yeah, you better. Watch She'll this. have your head. So I just realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring today. I'll make sure that the ladies know that I'm taken though. If anybody approaches me, no one's gonna approach me like this. Okay, that's me. I'm the slowest grocery store shopper ever. Oh, oh, I can't. No way. He looks so much older instantly. Yeah, we've gotten some looks. And he's taking up the whole aisle. Grocery stores stress me out, man. I'm so, so impressed by how single parents are able to make it happen. So far today, I haven't done any work. So if you're a single parent out there, I'm so impressed by you. Okay guys, I have a confession to make. I cheated. I've been so busy helping Griffin. He's been really fussy the last like 45 minutes. Caleb just got sick of waiting for me to make dinner and he just started to make dinner himself. It is 7.41, so I mean, Caleb must be really hungry right now. I myself am a night owl, so I typically don't eat dinner till after eight o'clock. I decided to make garlic sriracha chicken because it's so easy and it pairs very nicely with broccoli and couscous. Hey, you're not my wife. Griffin wanted to say goodnight to mom. It's his bedtime. He's ready for bed. Buddy. 
We love you very, very much, mama. You look pasty, buddy. I just fed him an hour ago, but I'm gonna give him another dream feed, change his diaper, and put him down. I've, a bit. Great, I've gotten literally nothing done for work, so yeah. I, I'm gonna stay up really late tonight to work and get some things done while he sleeps. We love you, mom. Okay, I think I made the mistake of letting Griffin get a little overtired. So he's being a little fussy, but I'm giving him his, uh, his dream feeding right now so that he can fall asleep. Okay, got him put down. The house is a complete mess. I need to go take out the trash. My workday starts now. I'll probably be up past midnight. Hopefully, hopefully I can go fast. I am so exhausted, and the fact that I have to work right now sucks. I'm so freaking tired, dude. Uh, I hate this. I haven't had a night like this since college, you guys. Even then, I feel like if I was this tired, I'd be like, screw it. Like, I'm out. I'm literally falling asleep while editing. There's no other way for me to get this work done if I don't get it done now. I love him so much, but it's so hard to get stuff done with him. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a nap, and hopefully in 15 minutes, I'm gonna have some energy so I can keep editing because I am so, so done right now. Hmm. I'm like so tired that my productivity, it's, it's been bad. So I'm gonna go to bed and try to tackle my work tasks tomorrow. But the thing is like, if I were truly a single dad, I don't know if I'd have the luxury of doing these tasks tomorrow. I'm not even 24 hours in and this is so freaking hard. I can't do this. Everybody. Got a lot to do today. I moved Griffin to the closet. That way he would sleep a little bit longer because usually these big windows right here wake him up. And I was like, I need some extra sleep. This is tough. Good morning, buddy. Are you so happy to be awake? Are you such a smiley guy today? Dude, seriously, did you just have to upchuck all of that on your father? I was literally just singing to you. Wow, it like just formed a pool in my belly button. That's disgusting. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Oh my gosh. I keep, I, it just keeps happening. Can you please stop upchucking your milk on dad? <laughs> Dude, I know for a fact if Abby was here right now, I would be getting chewed out for chewing too loud. And I like to eat my food with my hands. I know that's kind of gross. Okay. I wanna go through my to-do list today because I really need some accountability here. I'm falling behind. My goal from the start of this video was to do everything that Abby does as a mom, everything that I do as a dad, and get no help from anybody. There's a lot on this list that I haven't done. I need to clean, I need a full laundry, and I need to do the dishes. Then once the house is clean, hopefully I can try to get some work things done because I'm so far behind on work. You guys are probably wondering, Matt, why are you eating lunch directly after you ate breakfast? Well, I was still hungry after eating breakfast, so I thought I might as well eat lunch now. It's 11 o'clock, and that way I can dirty my dishes and then clean the kitchen and not touch anything until I get home. Do you know if the dishes in the dishwasher are clean? Griff, do not worry about cleaning my baby. Griffin's sleeping. He loves taking naps. You're amazing. I can't even believe that you just did that. Oh, that was so loud. Did that wake up Griffin? <laughs> Dude is still out. <laughs> Hopefully he sleeps a little bit longer and I can just keep cleaning. Was that a good nap? You ready for some milk? Yeah, he's gotcha. Now at this point, Abby was only three hours away from coming home, but somehow I was still convinced that I could get everything done that I needed. To. Like the house was nowhere close to being clean and I still needed to work my job. Dude, these books are really short. It's weird, like this time of day, I feel as if he wants to stay up, but then he just gets fussy and Griffin loves this thing. Okay, whoa. I think you're, oh, hey, hey, hey. Then I had to pause the challenge because Abby lost her phone at the airport. Wait, so you, you lost your phone? Yeah, it's lost at the airport um, and my phone's had to four, so could you just check that out? Yes, let me uh, ping it for you. I can like make it ring. I'll call you right back. See where it's at, yeah, okay. Notify when found, how do I do this? I'm playing, I'm playing a sound right now. Yeah, she found it in the trash can of the women's restroom. Doing things with the baby trap too is so much harder. Also my back really hurts. I legitimately do not know how single parents make this job happen. 
Ow. Oh my gosh. Got about five ounces right there. He drinks a ton of milk. That was our last bottle. Crazy. Now I have to try to do some laundry. We have so much laundry to fold. Oh my gosh, that's a ton of laundry. Something I'm realizing right now is Abby has way more clothes than me and I have no idea where they go. I have like five shirts, okay? Something that weighed on my heart during the making of this video is there are single parents out there working multiple jobs that can barely afford groceries. And that's why we're doing a fundraiser. Our goal with this video is to raise 100,000 meals for single parents with Feeding America. Now I did some research to figure out which charities help single parents the most and Feeding America topped the list. Plus, it's been ranked number two by Forbes top 100 charities multiple years in a row. Right now, $1 donated equals 10 meals to help feed families. Thank you so much for donating. Oh, and I almost forgot, we're actually gonna match what you guys donate up to $10,000, so make sure you donate down below and we can help some single parents have together. Guys, the house is still a mess and Abby just texted me that she landed. Oh, oh, that was gross. I almost got poop everywhere. Now, I'll be honest, there was no possible way I was going to get the house clean in time, but luckily Abby's flight got delayed, which gave me some extra leeway. Okay. The house is starting to look pretty good if I don't say so myself, or if I do say so myself. Wow, man, who cleaned this place? Oh, that's my timer. That means I should be done by now because she's gonna be here like any minute. And finally, after being apart for a day and a half, I got to reunite with my beautiful wife. Welcome home, mom. After 36 hours, I gained so much respect for my wife and especially single parents. Being a parent is hard enough, so I can only imagine how challenging it is to walk this path alone. Again, donate right down below and we will match your donation. Wait, did you did I tell you we're gonna do that? No. Match the donations. That's awesome.